Today's Texas school district, its school board, is calling on a bond election, something that has not been passed by voters there in more than 15 years. KLTV7's Willie Downs reports from Chapel Hill school board meeting tonight to learn why supporters say the bond is needed. The Chapel Hill ISD school board is now asking the people of Chapel Hill to consider a 113.9 million bond proposal. The bond was turned down by voters in the spring of last year. If the bond is approved this go around, it will be the first time in over 15 years. The committee and the board, through conversations and the advisement of that committee, I recommend three phases of improvements of that long range facility that was approved by the school board in 2021. The bond is broken down in three propositions. The first proposition calls for a new junior high, new career and technology education facility, and classroom additions to Jackson and Wise Elementary. The second proposition calls for the construction of a new multi-purpose center. The third proposition calls for the construction of a new operations facility. That is bring the total to all three propositions to be $113,920,000. If those propositions were passed, it would cost a homeowner who has a home value of $100,000 in Chapel Hill ISD, $13.53. Therefore, I recommend that the board adopt order calling the election to support the propositions as presented. If all three propositions pass with majority four votes, the property tax rates will increase by 0.27 cents. Willie Downs, KLTV 7 News. And the Chapel Hill ISD bond election will be held in May. The board also discussed the Guardian plan, but no decisions 